All right, now in order to get to these lights, you have to remove the grill. Got to remove this, and then there's a series of them over there. Remove that first, and it's real, actually real simple to do. I'm gonna try to do it one-handed. You have to click this off. It pops out, like that. Then this little guy pops out. Okay, I'm gonna do it without the camera, but you get the idea. Now all you really have to do once the, all these plastic little latches are undone, you can just kind of pull this part forward. Be careful because it's hooked down there, right? And you don't wanna go crazy with it. Now I have a light bar here, so I can't go all the way, but I should be able to manipulate everything that I have to deal with here. Now I just have to take these and remove them. Shouldn't be that difficult, theoretically. Let's see. Pull out the turn signal light. I don't know if you can see that, but I just pulled out the turn signal light. And I'm going to do the same over here. It might be a little bit easier to see. Now, well, what that does for me is it allows me to remove the grill altogether. And it gives me more access to what I'm playing with. All right, you have to remove this metal right here. There's four little hex screws. You remove those, this light will come out, and then you pull that out and you unattach the bulb. And uh, then, uh, the way I have to do it is you have to use this adapter right. and then basically you put it back in and hopefully it'll work all right now that that's hooked up all I have to do is put that in there I'm just gonna kind of shove this stuff in there and then put this ring over the top of it and then test it, then put the grill back on and see what it, what it works like. Hopefully it'll work nice. All right. Please tell me they're both on. Uh, yes. <laughs> okay, good. Uh, that's cold. All right, now for the test. Regular lights. Ready? Look at that. That is dramatically more brilliant. Now, let's test the beam. The beam is very bright. Hi, neighbors. All right. Cool.